Western, seen only on CBN. One law. Oh, good morning, Chuck. What are you doing here? Betsy, I got terrific news. Excuse me. Can't stand any more good news. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, keep in touch, Pete. Hey, remember Florence and Jenny, those two airline hostesses I was telling you about? Yeah? Well, they're both back in town, and we're all set for tonight. Daddy. We gon' fly! Oh, oh. You don't do any flying. You'll have to get yourself another co-pilot. Want some coffee? No, thanks. From now on, I'm only dating Elena. We've got uh, an understanding. Well, forget it. I'm all set with Jenny, and Florence is dying to meet you. And incidentally, she was picked as the hostess with the Moses. Now, can't you get it into that beady little brain of yours that I'm through running around? But then I'm stuck with an extra girl. Well, Chuck, I'm sure that you'll work it out somehow. Excuse me. Got an appointment with a new and very important client. More important than me, your old partner in Cherchaing La Femme. That's right. <laughs> Happens to be president of the Granger department stores. I'll see you, boy. What a waste. Like Manowar quitting when he was a three-year-old. <laughs> no, sir. I won't let it happen to him. Or to me. I owe it to him to protect him from himself. Oh, thanks. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Let me get this straight, Mr. Grant. You say the complainant was shopping in your store, that he tripped over some loose carpeting, thereby severely injuring his back. That's correct. And now he's threatening to sue us for $50,000 damages. I tell you, Greg, the man's a phony. Any witnesses? Sales girl didn't see it happen. However, she got the name of a young woman who did. Oh, good. Unfortunately, the witness wouldn't give her name. The sales girl had to get it off a sales slip. Dolores Lane. Yes, she works at the Purple Penguin. The nightclub? Yes, things. You can reach her there tonight. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Granger, not tonight. You see, I, I have a date. A date? Well, not just an ordinary date. You might say, I am seeing the girl, the, uh, the one and only girl from now on. You mean to say you're really thinking about getting married? Well, stranger things have happened. Well, now suppose you do get married. How do you plan to support your wife? Well, that's an odd question. I have a very successful law practice. And what makes it so successful? Well, clients like you, Mr. Granger. Precisely. <laughs> you're so right, sir. I'll see Miss Lane tonight. <laughs> fine thing. The junior hop is this Saturday night, and Ricky Barrett, you know, he's on the football team. Mm -hmm. Well, he just told me that I promised to go with him two weeks ago. Well, then go with him. How can I? I'm going steady with Hank. I <laughs> go with Hank. But I can't, if I promised Ricky. What am I going to do? Darling, it seems to me the only thing you can do is to call up Hank and tell him the truth. Do you think he'll believe me? Why, sure. You know, of course... I'm practically in the same situation you are. I've got a date with Elena, but I've got to go downtown and interview that nightclub singer. Now, I could tell Elena a little white lie so she wouldn't get jealous, but I'm not. I am going to tell her the truth. Do you really think she'll understand? Why, sure she will. Always pays for the truth. Oh, that's perfectly all right, dear. You go right ahead. I'll wait for you here. Ah, uh, you see? I told you she'd understand. Now, darling, I'm sure that Hank will, too. That must be Hank now. He's picking me up. Thanks for your advice, Uncle Bentley. Good night. Good night. Good night, Miss Castillo. Good night, dear. <laughs> now, what was that all about? A little teenage triangle, kid stuff. Hope you don't mind my using you as an example. Of course not, darling. But I did want to talk about the Milk Fun costume ball. Oh, can't wait till I get back? Of course. Oh, I want to make this the social event of the year. With you there, how can it miss? Um... I shouldn't be too long. Keep the hacienda warm until I get back. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Counselor at law, are you here on business or pleasure? Well, I did come on business, but this is a pleasure. Won't you sit down? Thank you. Buster, if this is about that accident in the department store yesterday, you can just forget about it. Let's not be hasty about this, Miss Lane, please. I am not going to get dragged into court for any kind of lawsuit. Yes, but aren't you interested in justice? Sure, but I'm more interested in my career. You see, that sort of lousy publicity could absolutely ruin me. After all, I'm a society chanteuse. <laughs> I quite understand. But, see, my client would be most appreciative if you could... I didn't see anything. I didn't hear anything. And even if I had, I wouldn't remember. Because, you see, I have a very poor memory. 
Well, goodbye, Mr. Grant. Uh, name is Greg. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> Dolores, why did you give him the brush? Who, that ambulance chaser? Ambulance chaser? That's Bentley Gregg, big man around town. Real class, gets his name in all the columns. So what? Well, I'll tell you so what. If you expect me to build you up as a society chanteuse, that's the kind of a schnook you've got to get in with. You know, it wouldn't hurt to be seen around with him. Get your name in the columns, go to snooty affairs like the Milk Fund Ball and things like that. Where are you going? I'm going to get myself a lawyer. <laughs> oh, you're not leaving so soon, are you, honey? <laughs> Good evening, Miss Castillo. I'm Chuck Forrest, an old friend of Bentley. Well, how do you do? You know, it beats me what lover boy's doing down at the Purple Penguin with a looker like you here. <laughs> well, he happens to have a business appointment. Sure he does. I don't know what you're inferring, but Bentley will be here any minute. Well, I hope so, for your sake, but, uh... But what? Well, I've seen Dolores Lane. You know, he'll probably call, tell you he's unavoidably detained. Would you mind taking a taxi home? Well, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello? Elena, I'm terribly sorry, but I've been unavoidably detained. <laughs> yes, I'll be a little longer than I thought. I hope you don't mind taking a taxi home. <laughs> Hello? Hello? What's wrong? I don't know. She's hung up. Maybe I better call her back. Uh, do you or do you not want to hear about what I saw in that department store, Mr. Grant? Greg. Now, you say that you actually saw him scuff up the carpet and then trip over it, huh? Mm-hmm, that's right. It definitely looked like a fake to me. Good. Now, you say that in court and my client is in the clear. I tell you, I don't know how to show my appreciation. Well, I have a few ideas. Uh, I'm off tomorrow night. I thought maybe you and I could do the town. Well, I'm sorry, but I have an appointment. Well, I understood that I was a very important witness, and it certainly doesn't seem to me that you're treating me like one. You are. You uh, see, uh... Bentley, could, could you help me with my zipper? I'm caught. Yes, of course. Uh, thank you. <laughs> oh, you're just... This thing is jammed. <laughs> here, here, look. Try it this way. You get better leverage. <laughs> you could tear my dress. <laughs> Bentley! Ooh! Bentley, you're pinching me! Bentley! Elena! Business appointment! Elena! I have a feeling we're gonna be a foursome any second. Watch. That's one. That's a pretty dirty trick to play. I thought you were friends. We are. We are. Elena. Bentley, buddy. Oh, hello, Chuck. What's the beef? A slight altercation with Elena. She probably never talked to me again. Well, forget it. Come on, I want you to meet a couple of people. Girls, I'd like to have you meet my old co-pilot, Bentley Gregg. It's Florence Morley and Jenny Johnson. Welcome back to the other tax ranks, old daddy. You know, I got a feeling... You're going to thank me for this one of these days. Thank you for what? Well, when I needled Elaine, I had no idea she'd come down here, but uh, I just did it to protect you from yourself, old buddy. Wait a minute now. You talk to Elena? But of course. What's a buddy for, buddy? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. 